Hello, my name is Yara Willard. I'm a clinical herbalist on Vancouver Island and I work with the Harmonic Arts Botanical Dispensary. Today I am out harvesting some pine pollen. Pine pollen is uh, one of my newfound favorite plants to harvest and to work with. I have just been learning a lot about pine pollen and I'm pretty excited to be working with it now and making some fresh tinctures with it, as well as consuming the pollen in my food and using it just as a, a general adaptogen to help tone my body and strengthen vitality. So yeah, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it. Uh, what we're doing right now, we're in pine pollen season. Pine pollen, well pollen of pine, is, it dumps out tons of pollen throughout the season. It's only about two to three weeks long, but as it does this, it, it just gives out so much. You can, you'll see amazing blankets of it. In fact, the pine forest supposedly can give up to 1.5 million pounds of pine pollen in a season. So. That's pretty pretty powerful amount of pollen. It just blankets the whole forest and allows the ecosystem to be nourished and balanced and plentifully um, invigorated with all the nutrients in it. Now, why do we want a pollen? Uh, well, pollens in general are some of the most potent chemistry that most plants produce. They are the male part of the um, sexual organ of the plant. So, pollens will often come out as a big dust, a cloud of dust. In this case, when we Flick this, we get this big poof of yellow cloud, and that's really what we're looking for is that, that poof. It's got an adaptogenic property to it, as well as it's enhancing to the immune system. They found it to be anti-tumoral, uh, really good for arthritis. They've shown it to be um, a phytoandrogen, which means helps increase natural testosterone levels in the body, as well as work on many different anti-inflammatory aspects and antioxidant aspects. So just an all-around powerfully amazing substance. So how are we going to get the pollen off here into our bodies? Well, I've been using a couple of methods. One of them is the uh, paper bag method, where basically I take a paper bag and I put the entire head or entire branch into the bag, close it up, and I just hit the bag like so. Now, what I'm going to find is, as I do that, out comes all this polleny dust, as well as a few little bits and stuff. That part I'm going to sift off later. I've got a bunch of screens I've been using like this and so different size screens graduating down to like a, the finest screen and we eventually filter it all off and we create a pollen like so. So this is our finished product is that fine dust particulate. That's the pollen of about half a tree. So you can imagine how much pollen can be produced. Now the other way I've been doing it which is a little more industrial is I've been pulling the pollen the whole catkin off. So it's a catkin, which is the male sexual part of the plant, pulling the whole catkins off and just putting them straight in my bag like that. And then I go on afterwards when I get home and I dust this down. Now, the reason to do this is it's, you get a little more pollen out of it and if you're only going to harvest a tree once or twice, that is the best way to do it. It's a lot more efficient as well as you're not really damaging the tree. There's so many on one tree that if you just are selective, you're, you're really, it's really fine. So that's the way I've been doing it. Um, you can find your own method. Now what we want to do with this is we want to make a tincture or we could just consume it in our food. I've been uh, dusting it onto all kinds of meals and adding it into batter mixes and sprinkling on like nutritional yeast. It, it tastes great and it's a powerful food that way to add into our diet. So as a tincture, if we want to make it that way, we just do 70%, uh, 60 for 70% alcohol, menstruum we create, and then we add in one to five parts. So one part pine pollen to five parts liquid. So 100 grams of pollen to 500 mils of liquid. You could do this with a 50% alcohol, it just doesn't work quite as well, so better to do 75% or 70%. Anyway, yeah, pretty excited about it. I'm happy to work with this plant. Pine is one of our in you know special plants from around this part, and it actually isn't as abundant here on the west coast, but throughout Canada, it's quite an abundant plant, and we use the resin, the needles, the natives would use the roots and the bark, and so many parts of the pine tree have been used as medicine. This seems to be one of the most powerful um, aspects of the chemistry created by the pine tree, so this is the part we're going to be harvesting today, but I've also really enjoyed pine resin as well. So, hope you get out and try making this. It's, it's abundant and only yet a three week window. So, if you see, if you have pine trees near you, flick the catkins until you see them starting to dust, and that's when you want to get out and harvest it. So, thanks for joining me, and try this at home. If you're looking for pine pollen tincture, we are going to have some this year. So come find us on harmonicarts.ca.